Hey guys, I'm going to do a, a quick demo here uh, because the audio was screwed up on the webcam last night and uh, it was pretty dark in here. It's uh, it's still a cloudy day so I don't have the best of light but I turned on some other lights in the house and turned up the gain on the webcam so hopefully the uh, the video will be better this time. Uh, and the uh, the effects will be in sync with the uh, with the firing and stuff. So uh, first I'll power up the uh, I've got the amp powered up here, and uh, first I'll power up the uh, the switch that would normally be on the back of the pack. Um, again, these wires that are sticking out here, um, <coughs> this is the power cable uh, and serial programmer and reset button for the programming. Uh, this is not uh, stuff that would normally be attached. Um, right now I have all the switches on the thrower in the off position. So I'll flip on the main power switch now. And you see that the cyclotron and the power cell are animating. This is how the pack would be when you're walking around in a con and you have the thrower hung up on the side of the pack. Um, now when you want to go in, I don't know if you can hear the hum here or not. Uh, I'll turn up the audio just in case you can't. Now I'll flip on the activate switch. And you see that the clippered light is blinking and the bar graph is animating in a fill and empty animation. Uh, the slow blow light is also on here. If I flip this, the slow blow turns off. Um, the slow blow light uh, indicates which mode you're currently in, as I mentioned in the other video. So if you have this on, you get one set of sound effects. If you have it off, you get a different set of sound effects. And you also get a different animation on the, uh, on the strobe there. So now I will uh, power it up. And there you saw the uh, vent light come on and the clipper light went solid. Um, as I mentioned in the other video, you can... Well, there's the vent sound. And the clipper light goes back into the uh, blinking animation there. As I mentioned in the other video, you can, uh, if you have the pack with the vent switch on and then you hit the activate, then like when Egon is coming out of the elevator, you get the power up sound. Now it'll just uh, fire the thing. This is the uh, capture stream down here. Hopefully you can see the strobe a little bit better now that uh, I've got the webcam set up properly. Um, now I'll fire the, uh, the blast stream. And you'll notice that the, uh, you'll notice that the vent here uh, animates when you're firing. You'll also notice that the bar graph animation changes with the two different firing modes. You'll also notice this LED blinks when you're firing. With that button at least. When you're firing with this button, this one lights up. This switch also causes the pack to heat up and the LEDs will animate faster and the cyclotron lights will get brighter. And if you fire the capture screen, the pack remains at the last speed of that. And if you hit the vent, all the LEDs go back to their uh, normal speed. And if you fire this for eight seconds, you'll begin to get a warning light blinking here, and then you'll go into overheat mode. You notice that the bar graph is emptying there. This LED was blinking to indicate the overheat. Uh, these LEDs also went solid. 
Now I'll demonstrate the music mode. I turned the volume on the amp down just a little bit because uh, I want to make sure that I get uh, good audio recording this time and I don't know if the sound effects have been too loud for the webcam. So, uh, that's the pack. Turn on the slow blow. Turn that off. Um, now in order to go into music mode, you hold down this fire button up here. Flip the activate switch. And you'll notice that it started at a random tune each time you turn it on and off. You get a different tune when you're in random mode. If you don't want to be in random mode, you can flip this switch here, turn off the slow bowl light, and when you turn the pack on, it'll go to the first track. And depending on whether you're in random mode or regular mode, uh, when the track ends, a new track will begin and you will either get a random track or the next track in sequence. Um, you can also flip through the tracks here and start the track. And you can stop the current track that's playing. And then you can just flip the activate switch to turn the music mode off again. And now you can go back into the normal mode. Um, another feature that I'll be adding shortly to the music mode is when you flip this switch up here, the vent switch, uh, you will get a vent light and a, a blinking clipper light. Um, just in case you want to have some animating LEDs or whatever while the music is going. Um, a few other things that I forgot to mention. Um, forgot to show you uh, the slow blow here. When you've got that on, you get different sound effects. Now, the shotgun sound is uh, not completed. Uh, that effect, the, uh, the strobe will flash once, and uh, you will not get the, uh, the normal power down sound that you heard after the shotgun fired. Um, I may also implement a, a repeating shotgun sound when you hold the button down. Um, I also forgot to mention, uh, I'll flip this into the normal one here. I also forgot to mention that uh, the longer that you fire with this button, the longer the power down sound that you get is. So if I just fire briefly, you get the short sound. If I fire for a bit longer, you get the same sound. You get a longer sound and fire for longer than that. You get the longest sound. So there are three different uh, length sounds that you can get. And uh, I'll show you the uh, overheat again here. So there's uh, one more thing that I need to show you here. Uh, the one thing that you're not supposed to do, cross the streams, uh, you can do that with this as well. Just hold on one of the fire buttons, push the other one at the same time. And there's your overload. So. Uh, I turned the amp down a little bit here, just in case the, uh, the sounds were uh, getting clipped by the microphone again. And uh, I'll just go through all the effects that the, uh, the thrower has here for you.
So that's it. I hope you like what you've seen. Uh, these are currently available for sale, and uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, let me know.